Okay, YouTube family. Working on the mower again. It's an old Craftsman. It's about 11 years old, I think. I just got new tires for it. I've yeah, done another video. The axles were rusty and the wheels had welded on. Anyway, since I had the wheels off, I just started looking at it and realizing, you know, the oil probably is not the greatest in there. So, it's easy enough to drop these. You see videos where people drill holes in them and make these weird drain plugs and a bunch of nonsense, but there's really no need for any of that. They come out really easily. They're held in with four of these half inch bolts. There's two of these in the front. And then there's two cotter pins. And that's it. It's not a big deal. You just put a, a jack under it. You gotta get the body up. You undo the bolts. Put the jack under the transaxle, lower it down, and then you've got to take your belt off, take off the levers for the speed control and the brake, and then lower your transaxle. And then once it's off, there's a little um, snap ring, so you do need snap ring pliers. You just lift that ring out, take your fan off, take your pulley off, and then here there's a little rubber rubber plug which is probably going to be destroyed because when they get old they fall apart you can get a new one of these for about seven bucks I'm waiting for mine there's a magnet here you take the magnet out you clean it and then you just turn the thing over and let it drain holds about oh two two point three liters of hydrostatic oil and don't put motor oil in these. Motor oil is made for combustion engines to keep them clean with detergent and compression. Use hydrostatic oil. That's what they come with. That's what they're designed for. Get hydrostatic oil and put the same amount in that you extracted, 2.3 liters. Super light. The thing weighs like 13 pounds, so it's not a big deal. You just flip it over, drain it out, catch it, clean the magnet. Fill it back up, put your plug in, bolt it back in, put your wheels on, and away you go. There's no need to drill holes. and No, there's no need for any of that. Just do it the way it's supposed to be serviced. Although they say these don't need to be serviced, that's nonsense. Because, like so many things, they're hoping it'll just wear out or break. And you'll go buy another one. So that keeps them, and it's easier for them to sell another one of these. And it is to uh, give you little parts and plugs and whatnot. So anyway, it's not that hard. Drop one of these down, change the oil, put it back in, hook it up, and away you go. Don't drill holes. Don't put metal in there. It's silly. Even if you were to do it that way, you wouldn't be able to get the, the magnet clean. You got to take the plug off. You got to get in there and clean that magnet. I mean, I guess you could take the lower part off, the pan underneath, it's bolted on too, but then you'd have to silicone it back on when you're done cleaning and draining and everything. But anyway, these are easy. They're easy to service, even though they say they're not, there's no need to service it during the life of it, because they figure mowers are only going to last seven years, but when you throw down $2,500, you want it to last more than seven years. This one's going on 11, I think. And with this fresh oil here, and the clean engine oil, it hopefully it'll go another 10. As long as you can get parts for it, there's no need to keep buying new, new, new. Just keep what you got maintained. Okay, so that's it. Not that big of a deal, guys. It's not that intimidating at all. Simple hand tools, floor jack, couple jack stands. Boom. Done. Drain your oil. Change your oil.